Hello. So I was recently asked about how to get a sound into my flip chart and have that sound play across multiple pages. So there's a, probably at least three different ways to insert a sound into your flip chart. So I'll get started with that. I'm going to draw a square rectangle right here. And uh, this is the way a lot of people know. First, I'm going to select that, making sure that my browser window is open. I'm going to click on the action browser, the little spinning top there. And uh, while down here I see open document file or sound, if that one's a little tough for you to find, you can click this drop down list, which will filter those options. And then I go open document file or sound. Down here I'm going to choose which sound I want it to open. And I've got some sounds right here. And select the sound, and then you have to hit apply changes down at the bottom. You get some options here. I'm going to store that file in my flip chart. Um, I don't need to see the controller. Maybe I'm going to say autoplay. So you can choose whatever options you want. I'm going to click OK. And now I don't see apply changes because they've been applied. What I do see is that little action icon. And so when I click this, it plays. And when I go to the next page, the sound continues to play. So I've now clicked two pages forward. I can go a few pages back. And when I get back to this page, the sound does start over because it's set to autoplay, which means when I turn to that page, it plays. Turn that off, I can go to the top right corner where it says stop all sounds. It's kind of a mute button. And there we go. Um, another way to do it, and I'll start this on a blank page, is to put an object on the page, go up to insert, link, file, and then choose my sound and I get this, these same options. So I'll store the file in the flip chart, and this time I won't do autoplay, doesn't really matter. Um, and then I'm gonna click OK. So that's why I get that link there. Um, so I'll show you what I did in a moment, but uh, if I click on this, and click the next page, and the next page again, it still, it still plays. I'm gonna mute that, and let's take a look at this again. Insert, link, file. Um, so what I did is I added that link as text so it put that text on my page. What I kind of meant to do was click existing object and then it says well which existing object. So I'm going to choose in this case I can choose that shape. Click OK and then OK again. And now I can click on this. Stop that. Um, and, and it will play. And I'm going to go to yet another page and do insert media. And I'm going to choose that same sound. But this time it's going to give me a little media icon. And there it is. And notice that it did not give me options to embed the media, to autoplay the media, loop it, use a controller, and those things. So I don't typically use insert media. One, because I don't necessarily need this little icon here. I usually want something else on my page. Two, because I enjoy those options. If I click on that. Next page, next page, next page, and the music is still playing. I'm going to stop sound, so I hope that uh, shed some insight on that topic. Have a great day, everyone.